Good evening, and it's great to have you with us here on a Thursday night. And it was another day of fast-moving developments in this coronavirus emergency, and we will carefully get through it all right here with you tonight. We're going to begin with the states of emergency across this country, and now here in New York City, a state of emergency declared as well. So that's more than 13 they, uh, people declared a state of emergency in New York already. Oh, shit. At least 45 states now. This COVID thing is going to get out of control. Additional school districts shutting down today. Now 4.9 million school children across the country at home. That first containment zone now in effect. The National Guard on the scene in New Rochelle, New York, just outside the city. And in New York, a ban on crowds of 500 or more Broadway dark concert halls and museums set to close. And that state of emergency Damn. here in New York City, the mayor the whole world is shutting down. Cases today, 95 and slow the spread. Saying there could be a thousand in just a week. The NCAA tournament canceled. The NBA season suspended. And that I need to get this fixed. It's only been sitting there for two years. Hello? Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, I know. Did you uh, see where like New York some of the emergency and everything? Like the whole world shut down because of this. Uh, virus to slow the spread down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if it's allowed, I'll be there uh, Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you think the show's gonna get canceled over this? Most likely will, but we'll, we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it, you know? Yeah, so if anything changes, just let me know. Give me a call, you know. Yeah. All right, brother. Well, if nothing changes. I'll see you on Wednesday. All right, bro. Talk to you later. State of emergency. So what are I going to do? Me 
I canceled. Yeah, I kind of figured. Um, all right, pops. Well, glad you caught me before I left the house, cause I would have been pissed off if I drove all the way up there for nothing. Uh huh. All right, pops. Well. Uh, Bummer that the show got canceled, but I, I get it. I understand because you know the whole pandemic and everything is kind of shutting everything down. We're gonna try again next month. All right. Uh, what about training this week? Has it been canceled too? It has. All right, pops. Well, guess I'll see you when I see you then. All right, pops. Love you. I don't need this now. Alright, well, I guess I can turn the TV back on since the show got canceled. Alright, PC. The coronavirus uh, story we're following this morning. China has reported a tenth case of COVID-19 presumptive at this point. studio into a gym. working out in my studio because since we're not allowed to go to the gym now I had to buy a couple weights bought a punching bag that's my hand reps I could still work on stuff or in this stay at home order oh we are what time Is it a smart idea? Because you know, the order's in place and everything. Also, as long as no more than six are there, we can we can do it. Oh, and the ring's outside. All right, I got you. Y'all there now? All right, well, uh, just let me get changed and I'll, uh, I'll be right there. 
Yeah. Yeah, this man. Past few weeks and not training, I kind of feel the rest building on, you know what I mean? So, uh, but I've been staying working out now. I've been trying to at least when work ain't killing me. All right, well, like I said, I'll, uh, I'll get changed. And you said there's five there now, so I need to hurry up. All right, I'll get, uh, I'll get changed real fast and then, you know, fuck it. I'll, I'll come dressed like this. I'll just take the hand wraps off. All right, bro, I'll be there in like 30 minutes. All right, bye. anywhere and those shows are somewhat running other places <sighs> see if I can still play guitar an empty arena show all right uh yeah sure count me in i'll be there guess i'm either too crappy of a worker or just don't have the body type other promotions are looking for yay i like you know i'll start it off and they'll I'll ask them if they want my resume, and I send them my resume, and they either, they tell me, uh, we'll contact you soon, or, um, they just don't respond at all. And I have literally from the casket match all the way to the worst match I ever had. Alright, so we're gonna do it at the same time training. Alright, well, uh, count me in. I ain't got nothing else to do. No. Alright. Is it, uh, is it alright if I invite some people? Kind of give it that home feel? It's only like four people. Alright, well, if they can come, I'll see if they can come. I'm sure they will. But I'll just say if they can come, you know. Alright. Hey, what's up? You busy on Saturday? It's gonna be like early morning. It's gonna be like ten o'clock. All right. Well, if uh, you want to bring the kids out to the fairground, you can so they can watch a wrestling show. Yeah. No, it ain't gonna cost anything. It's uh, content for Twitch and YouTube, I think. Yeah. All right. I'll see you then. All right, bye.
out of the loop right and behind the loop in I believe across and no, I screwed up Crossed back into the loop. That's what it was. And then right back through the little hole I made with my finger. And let's see here. Proper kind of give it a form here. And well, then it's cool. Uh, I screwed up. Alrighty. Oh god. Who's this? Hello? What's up, man? Oh, not much. I'm just, uh, I'm trying to learn how to tie a tie. My buddy's wedding's coming up. And he wants me to be in it, so, you know, trying to learn how to tie a tie now. What's going on? Oh, we're getting to do shows in actually front of people now? When? January? January? We're going to do it the same like we used to, third weekend? Sweet. Sweet. Awesome. Uh, Alright. No, his, his wedding is not till the end of the year, so that works for me. Yeah, your uh, your buddy contacted me about booking me too. Uh, I don't know, man. Maybe now with the world getting somewhat back to normal, we can start doing this again. All right. You already know, man. Count me in wherever, wherever. I don't care if it's here. I don't care if we gotta drive wherever. Fayetteville, fuck, Florida, for all I care at this point. I just want to wrestle, man. We ain't done it since we did the empty arena stuff. And that was, what, three months ago? Yeah, I got the itch is there for all of us, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, you, you know, man. Been trying to stay busy, but you know how it works. Like I was telling Pops, man, I was sending my resumes to the shows that were somewhat running, and uh, they just they just never contacted me back. So they're lost, right? That's how I look at it. Yeah, but uh, sweet, finally, man. How many people's allowed in? Please tell me more than ten. A hundred? Eh, it's better than nothing, right? <laughs> After a year not running shows. I'm sure we gotta follow guidelines though, don't we? Yeah, that's why only 100 people are allowed in. Big as, big as a building, so many square feet or whatever it was that they were talking about the other day. Alright, well, uh, I know anybody wants to come, I'll just have them pre-order tickets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. That's cool. And do you know, does anybody know the card yet? Well, we'll wait to get there for that then. All right, well, yeah, tell them to count me in. They they shouldn't even have to call me and ask me anymore. I've already told them if they got a show just to book me. They know I'm down. All right, bro, well, I'll see you then. <laughs> Sweet. All right, peace. Yeah, those muscles, you can get to them a lot quicker when you see them. Absolutely. <laughs> Seems like they're gonna open up with a double team on Malcolm Dark. Yeah. 
Looks like we're going to get a double suplex. Very effective. But I'll be honest with you, I mean, I you kind of like the strategy. It's just, uh, it's is this an elimination one. match, or yeah. is it uh, as soon as somebody scores a pinfall or submission, it's over? I think that uh, the tag team spirit they had, let's see what we need. Maybe we can get to the wrestling instead of the uh, bodyguard competition. Well, Bubba Duke and uh, Sledge Gibson are going to, looks like they're going to do a punch exchange. And, A four uppercut forearm, and Bubba Duke responds with a headbutt. Physical. Sledge Gibson got the advantage and shoots this guy across. Nice top kick. Here comes Malcolm Dark behind him. Nice elbow to the back of the head. That's the thing about these matches, you know. Because my career, I've obviously been in a few, and that's you can't you can't forget that there is a third person. So it's hard to uh, knock the dark, works the fingers, but I mean, it's like I said, it's hard to focus because you got to watch your back as well. So Malcolm Dark's got to take it at two Gibson, but now, you know, Bubba Duke's back on his feet. Yeah, he has time to breathe. He's actually taking advantage of the beatdown Malcolm Dark is giving this guy. Exactly. Now, you know, Malcolm Dark has made the same mistake Gibson did and forgot all about the third man. up like it wasn't a problem. Yeah, and, you know, and Dark is definitely, I mean, he may be shorter than Bubba Duke, but he's not a small guy. Not good. Nice leg drop. Get a bang. Of course, Sledge Gibson breaks up the count. I think that body slam put a little wear and tear on Malcolm Dark. He's still playing the effects. Exactly. You know, like, like we said earlier, though, they can't forget he's there. Yeah. Nice elbow to the corner. Like I said, boss, they get you using them uppercut forearm shots. And of course, he went to the turnbuckle, nobody holds, and Malcolm darts right back. Go for the pin. Go for the pin. Exactly. He would have been better off going for the quick three and yeah. while, you know, while Bubba Duke was still recovering. A nice neck breaker there. It's not enough to put Bubba Duke down. Not at all. Right to the eyes. Not at all. And then that's something you can't train in the gym. Don't sell that at all. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> There's Malcolm Dark's kind of in control. Wow. Bubba Duke does get back to his feet, though. Malcolm Dark taught his Bubba. That is crazy. Yeah, I'm not sure you nice want to. I'm not sure you want to talk to Big Redneck that's drinking beer on the way out here. <laughs> Big Bubba with a nice. Of course, you know, when Bubba charged the turnbuckle, Malcolm Dark was home. Bubba would have been. He's not going to let that happen. Uh, Gibson had uh, recovered enough to break up the count. Gibson has to be on top of one of these wrestlers. You're allowing him too much time to breathe. Of course, he's throwing some shots to Bubba Duke, and then actually on the upper hand of it, if you want. But Malcolm Dark is uh, not out enough that he couldn't break the cap. Malcolm Dark's working on uh, Gibson's arm here. Wow, that's right there is how you uh, break an arm or hyperextend an elbow into the uh, cross face. Yeah, the cross face. That was made famous by Chris Benoit. Of course, Bubba
the boots right back. And submission moves, it's got to be one that's going to make somebody tap like immediately to work at a triple threat. Right. You have to spend time where you got down the third party time to go. Of course, Bubba Duke's taking two knock and dark right now. Very effective I mean, I will say, Bubba Duke's threw the headbutt a couple times in this match against both men, and it's working. Gibson. Got off his feet. Yep, I mean, he's stood two, and he's still up. We got a third one, and it actually doesn't look like it was phasing Gibson as much as he had hoped. Gibson's right back with the hard fist. All right, now he's going to turn his focus to Mark of Dark, which is finally in this match. Somebody has remembered there is another guy there. Wow, that was nice. Yeah, that was right there, a devastating move. And I think the match would have been over had Bubba Duke not been there. Nice knee to the chest. You got to follow up with it. Buck handle slam. Oh, wow. He turned it into something else. That wasn't the standard slam. That was different, but it was effective. Absolutely. 